Okay, hello everybody. I am Conquering History Games and welcome to a new game on the channel. Um, this is Celeste, a 2D platforming game, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, but I haven't played it for a while and I thought it would be a really fun game to play uh, in a live stream. So, um... Let me go over a couple of things here at the start. Uh, so we finished Mario Galaxy yesterday, and uh, I actually wanted to replace it with, I had a couple of other games in mind, what I would do in, after I, now that I was done with that. I don't want to say what they were or why I can't play them right now, but I'm just running into some difficulties on my end. Uh, so what I thought I could do in the meantime is uh, play through Celeste, because I think that would take like a relatively few amount of um, uh, live streams to get through. Uh, let me just talk, l l let me kind of uh, talk about though a couple of things that I want to do with this game. So this game came out in uh, 2018, but I had never even heard anything about it until, um, by the way, let me know if the music's too loud at any point. Uh, I could. I could adjust it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but uh, I, I got this game when I first got a Switch in um, 2019. And, oh yeah, a sidebar. Uh, so this is actually my second stream of the day. My first stream of the day got blocked. Um, some people here already know why, what happened. But, uh, yeah, I've now unlocked the ability to live stream again. YouTube just temporarily blocked me, and they sent me a couple of emails telling me how I effed up uh, and why. Uh, but I'm back, obviously, now. So hello to everybody. Anyway, so uh, I played this game first in 2019 when I had first gotten a Switch because uh, I wanted to spend a couple of bucks on getting some indie games. So I just looked up, because I had a little bit of money, and I went, uh, okay, what are the best indie games out there? So I picked up this and a couple of other ones, and this was my definitely favorite one. And then I didn't even know about it until afterwards, but it was like the freaking everybody agreed that it was like the best game of the year. Uh, and I had no idea how great it was. Uh, it just completely flown out of my radar. Um, then my Switch got stolen, and I eventually saved up to get another one, and luckily I was able to sign back into my account, and I still had Celeste, but of course my memory was gone, because it was on the uh, old SD card, so I played through it again, which is really therapeutic, uh, in a way. <laughs> so, uh, this is going to technically be my, yeah, this will be my third time playing through the game. Now, having said that, the first two times I played through, I only um, was aiming to reach the end of the game. Now, there's a whole lot of freaking content in this game besides, you know, just getting to the credits. Uh, so what I wanted to do uh, with this particular run is I wanted to try to pick up strawberries when I could. Uh, basically, strawberries are, are these... Um, some people say the strawberries that you can pick when you try to climb this mountain. For those of you who don't know, it's a game where you try to climb a mountain. Uh, some people say, okay, the strawberries are supposed to be extra hard ones to get. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Um, most of the strawberries are just hidden. Um, they're not actually difficult to grab, per se, like in terms of platforming. It's just sometimes they're behind like a hidden wall. So you've got to like really pay attention to detail on the, on the uh, screen to uh, notice them. Uh, so, but I'm going to just try to pick up a fair amount of strawberries as we go through here. Um, now, there's been an update, I think, to this game since when I first played it, where now you could uh, go back to not just chapter. It's not that you could just go back to chapters you've already beaten, but you could go to, like, subsections of them. So if you want to, for example, pick up specific strawberries, we could do that. Um, so one of the things I want to do is try to pick up a lot of strawberries along the way so then after we get to the credits scene, that's going to open up... There's going to be a tooltip in the game where it says like, oh, the strawberries don't do anything. They're just to impress your friends. That's not true. You need some of the strawberries to get to a secret part of the game. Um, but also, I also want to pick up these things called cassettes in the uh, the various, God, OBS is throttling my CPU again. I wanna, I wanna pick up these uh, cassettes, which unlock harder versions of the level. Um, because as you're gonna see, even though I haven't played this game in over a year, I'm fairly confident that I'm gonna be able to slam through it uh, if I really wanted to. Um, not so much that I've memorized the tracks, but like I'm sure like I'm gonna get the, the, get the memory back in my thumbs very quickly and kick a lot of ass if I do say so myself. Um, and, uh, so I want to get those cassettes so then I could try out the harder versions of the levels. 
So I thought that would be another fun, interesting thing to do after we're done with the credits. Of course, all this stuff, it, this might end up being a game, like once I get to the credits, this might be a game when, when there's days that I just want to live stream, but I also just want to kind of chill as much as you can chill doing a difficult platforming game. I might throw this on and we'll do the cassettes, we'll do the strawberries, things like that. So so basically, this is going to be, uh, long story short, uh, this is going to be a, a game that uh, we're going to run to the credits, but we're going to be doing things along the way so we can unlock a lot of the extra content in this game. Connor Scott says this game is honestly a work of art in my eyes. I agree. There's a, there's a lot of good in this game from a lot of different angles and I'm going to talk about that as we go through. I'm not going to be skipping the cut scenes. I've seen online there's people who skip the cut scenes who don't want to do the story. We are going to be doing the story. Um, and uh, oh yeah, and then one last thing. So we're going to climb the mountain, we're going to pick up cassettes, and then the third part of the live stream style, calisthenics. So something I wanted to do, um, this was like a concept idea I had a little bit after I first played the game. Um, you guys have probably heard of where, like, some people are saying, you know, have said things where they go like, oh yeah, when I play, like, Fallout games, I do it on my treadmill and I have the controller in my hand, so I have to walk as long as, you know, my character walks to, like, immerse themselves in the game, so to speak. So how do you do that with climbing a mountain? Well, there are a lot of mountains where I live, but that's not how I'm gonna do it. Um, an idea that I'd had, because I, I tend to get rather flippant with my, with my deaths, it's kind of... I don't want to say it's a bad habit, but uh, because one of the things that I love about this game is when you die, it quickly resets you to the start of the level, to the start of the puzzle. You're not, you know, waiting, you're not staring at a loading screen for two minutes. So I get really flippant with dying, where it just becomes this trial and error thing for me, where it's just like, oh, I died, whatever, let me try this, oh, I died there, let me try this. I, I don't even get mad about it unless it's like I'm trying to do something specifically. Like, a lot of my deaths are me just testing things. And, um... I get really flippant about it. Now, the first time I played through this game, I believe I had like slightly over 3,000 deaths because of that. So, uh, something that I thought might be interesting to do is um, for every death that I take um, to do a um, one calisthenic of some kind. That could be like a push up, a squat, a crunch, or whatever. And this would be, this is not gonna be like replacing my exercise for the day. This will be like an addition to it. And as a lot of you already know, I also have a very physical job. Um, so uh, I thought that would be a fun thing. Like, let's say if I finish a chapter and I still want to keep streaming, I've got to do all those calisthenics. And then in the second part of the stream, I'm going to be sore. Or it'll, or maybe I can, like, cash out my deaths at the end of every stream. Although I'm not entirely... I think the only way you can check your death count is when you finish a chapter. Uh, I could be wrong on that. Um... Uh, but then after, so it's like, oh man, really sore. Did some Celeste today, so it's pretty much did two a days. I just thought that would be an interesting concept. Uh, so yeah, I've been jibber jabbering for a while. How about we actually play this video game? <sighs> oh yeah, let's look at the options here. Okay, English, Canadian English, eh? Uh, rumbles on, controller config, doesn't really matter. Photo sensitive mode, we don't need that. Screen shake effects, I want that on. Music, sounds. We're not gonna do the speed run clock because it's not gonna speed run. Having said that, if I was ever to speed run a game in my life, I would probably learn to speed run this game because it, as I've said before, it's one of my absolute favorites. I used to hate 2D platformers until I learned the, learned about this game. You know, let's jump into it. Uh, let's hear your name. Uh, let's call myself, yeah, just CHG. Unless this changes the uh, the name in the uh, in the game, in which case we'll still go. But my character's actual name is Madeline. Oh, you know what's funny about the assist mode? I guess I just didn't notice it when I first booted the game up when I was uh, you know first playing it. I didn't know that there was an assist mode, uh, which is good because I probably I remember there was this one particular puzzle that I was stuck on. Um, it wasn't even in the last chapter, but and I'll talk about it when we get there one day. But the first time I played this game played through this game, I got stuck on one puzzle for literally an hour and a half. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I probably would have turned assist mode on though. Although actually, now that I think about that puzzle, I don't think assist mode would have helped because, uh, well, I'll talk about it whenever we get there. Um, so God, OBS is just fucking destroying my CPU. Uh, OBS apparently needs to use 81, no, 83.4% of my CPU, uh, anyway. Who was in Paris? What are you talking about, Kirby? I don't understand. Uh, let's let's start the game. So we will be doing the cutscenes, 
And then, you know, if anybody wants to, we could certainly talk about, like, themes and stuff. So, this is it, CHG. Just breathe. Why are you so nervous? Okay, here we go. So this is me. And so I'm already controlling the character. See, hold the shoulder buttons to climb. I think I think any of the four shoulder buttons can be used for holding on. So climb, 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 jump, jump, grip, climb, 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 climb. So you see you're not you're using your arms too. Okay, Kirby, let's calm down a little bit. This is not the stream for this. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. The sign out front is busted. Is this the mountain trail? You're almost there. It's just across the bridge. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed and I nearly died. <laughs> if my driveway almost did you in, the mountain might be a bit much for you. <laughs> Love this big, great face. Big eyebrows, too. <laughs> well, if an old bat like you could survive out here, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> Suit yourself! <laughs> but you should know, Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things. Things you ain't ready to see. You should seek help, lady. <laughs> All right, rev it up! Oops. Oh, that's the first death. I thought that the cutscene was gonna happen. That would be one push-up, for example. Oh! I couldn't reach! Dash it L and Y. And there you go. Alright, good night, man. Don't worry, the video will be in a playlist tomorrow. You can do this. Alright. That's the prologue. So I died once. So end of chapter. Let me do one push-up. <laughs> okay. One. Okay. <laughs> but in the other chapters, it'll actually give me a count. And what I might do, because for all I know, sometimes it can start to get into the hundreds, I might just like start, like let's say I did 500 deaths. I don't think I'm gonna have 500 deaths in a single uh, chapter, but let's say that happened. I would probably then write down the 500 and would start paying it off over the while we were working on the next chapter. Or it's just like, oh shit, I'm getting frustrated. I need a break. I'm gonna do 50 calisthenics. You know, something like that. All right, here we are in the Forsaken City. Save and quit from the pause menu anytime to take a break. Okay, here we go. So this is all the commands. It's basically joystick to move around, shoulder button to move, you know, climb to grip, uh, one button to jump, one button to dash. Oh, that's one death right there. You know, and but like there's there'll be one more than one button. So like the so like you know the it's basically the the like me. It's top button, bottom button, or for jumping, left button, right button, or for dashing. So it helps with changing grips. It really does, believe it or not. By the way, I do the joystick. I don't do the, um, I don't use the, the, uh, the D-pad. Just kind of a personal preference. I don't know how much of a scrub that makes me. So there's a, a strawberry. So you see we got one. And, uh, you need a lot of strawberries to unlock a secret area at the end of the game. But also they're just interesting little puzzles to get. So sometimes I just get them because I like the puzzle. Uh, but a lot of them are just, uh, it's just a, like a, it's just a hidden part of the level that you didn't see right away. Well, I'll try to keep an eye out, uh, see if I can find an example. So like right here, this is an example of like this is a harder part of the puzzle because I could just jump up right there and I'll do it, but I want the strawberry, so what we'll do is this. There you go. 
See, so obviously very easy because we're just in level one. I've seen people do this level in literally less than a minute. Well, you see, so, you know, because the, so the platformer there, you know, the, the momentum will make me shoot into the, uh, into the spikes. So, you know, that's no bueno. Oops. I feel like there's a re there must be some reason for that gap over there on the right. Hmm. Very strange, whatever. Okay, so these ones with wings are interesting, so if you dash, they disappear. So we've got to get this one without dashing. Easy peasy. So has anybody in the chat played this game before? Ah, I see, here we go. This one might be a little harder. So some of these platforms, you can go under them, but you can't, but then you land on top. So like these brown ones, you see, you dart up, but you can't, you don't fall down. Uh, easy peasy. Hmm. See, so you see, see when I just stand there and do nothing, it doesn't launch me. But like, look at my normal jumping height. But if I come over here, and use that. Whoop. Once again, easy peasy. See, so you got to use the momentum of the platforms and such. Hold on. Oh, I think this is a hidden area. So dash into it. Yep, I bet there's a strawberry in here. Sure is. Easy peasy. Damn, it's just coming right back to me. <laughs> I just you see the playthrough of it. Okay. Well, I'm happy to talk about it. Or let's try to maybe stay a little spoiler free. Let's only try to talk about things that are happening in front of us. But, uh... But yeah, if you guys have like ideas of, oh, you should go into this section or whatever, like I might not do it right away, but I definitely want to explore more of this game. Hmm. Oh, shoot! Yeah, so that spring just la that spring was a trap because it just launched me into the spikes above. So those little yellow diamonds, they, they regenerate your, uh, your, um, your... Dash. Oh, first cutscene already. <laughs> oh there, fellow traveler. Oh, hi. What a killer night for a hike. I guess so. This place is so crazy. I kind of can't believe it exists. Oh, I should I should put my fan on and point it toward me, even though I'm not that hot. Just to, for the wind, the wind on the mountain. Not the easiest climb, is it? But I guess that's what I was looking for. Whoa, that sounds pretty serious. I'm just happy to see another human in such a lonely place. I'm Theo, by the way, an adventurer from a far off land. Not much of a talker, are you? Mysterious lone wolf type, I get it. I'll just imagine some dark backstory for you. I think that's it. <laughs> Theo is such a Chad. Uh we might have to disagree on that one. I'm not a I'm not the biggest Theo fan. Uh, but we'll talk about him later. I don't hate him, uh, but it's <laughs> He's definitely got a different personality than, uh, than Madeline does. So yeah, remember, Celeste is the name of the mountain. It's not our character's name. <laughs> kind of like Jethro Tull or Pink Floyd. Hey, we're already done. Just kidding. Whoop. Hmm. Something tricksy is here. That over? No. Yeah, you got these weird. But the backgrounds are very interesting because you can see we are in a city. Uh, you see the buildings in the back, and there's a sign there. It's not just a watch; it's a symbol. Oh, I think there's another hidden area up here. Nice. Okay. Yeah, see that jump I did? That's my bread and butter, baby. Oh fuck. But like that, that jump in coming around higher, but like outside, this I remember being able to do this jump helps me a lot. 
Whoops. By the way, if you if you hold on for too long, uh, Madeline will eventually get tired. So you can't just grip forever, and that does become more important later. You see, she's sort of flickering, 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 dead. Yeah, doing that kind of little jump helps a ton. Haha! <laughs> a little harder, but I did it anyway. Hold on. Is there an opening through the top here? Nice! Oh, nice! Hidden in the hit, hidden area in the hidden area. What have we here? What have we here? Hmm. Oh shit. Oh, you know what? I need to not rush this. Here's what I'll do. Here's what I do. See, and then jump. Whoop! Whoop! Ha <laughs> ha! Up to nine strawberries. Oh, that collapses. All right, good to know. Oh shit! I was looking at a different part of the screen. Yeah, I, I just like the. There's a simplicity in this game, and the way that just every every screen is a new puzzle. So you're just gonna do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of puzzles. As you can see, I'm getting a lot of my deaths from just being lazy. Um, I'm not paying attention. Oh, I fucked that up. Yeah, I don't need a grip. Oh, you know what? I need to do it. Fuck. Okay. Let's take a second here. Every one of those is another push-up. Or a squat on already tired legs. The music's a vibe as well. Yeah, I'm usually not into the synth sound, but when it's... I guess you can say that about any genre. When it's done right, oh, it speaks to me. And the, the music's great. I've actually heard the the side B um, album as well, even though I haven't played through all the B sides. Yeah, but the, the music is done very very well. There's a lot of cool things that the composer does. Uh, I don't remember what her name is, but especially like when we get to chapter three, I'm gonna have I'm gonna be pointing out some things about the uh, the soundtrack there. Oh, I remember this strawberry is an annoying one. This strawberry is, I swear, it's one of the harder things in the game for me. It just it just kind of ends up getting on my nerves a lot. Yeah, trying to trying to squeeze in there. And it's like, I think I remember this from the first two times I play it, that I find out there's like some simple shit. Yep, there it is. There's some simple shit to do, but I overcomplicate things. And, uh, yeah, it, it just becomes a serious thing. Ouch, I gotta be it. Perfectly under it. Let me adjust my seating a little. Oh. You see, I think we could just be launched without the dash. Mm. Fuck. Yeah, this... Unironically, this is one of the hardest ones for me. I, I just, I have trouble with this section, yeah, because it's, it's, it's really thin margins of error here. Gotta be right, gotta come right up in the middle and scoop in. Fuck. Oh, gotta not turn until I'm out of the, the death zone. Whoops. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've gotten more deaths on this screen than uh, all the other stuff combined. There it is. You see, and that's what's also kind of cool about the game, is you struggle and you struggle, but then when you get it right, you end up looking like a frickin' ninja. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Okay, you know what? I think I know how to do to do this. I need to, I need to wait for it to jump over. Okay, check this out. I need to grip it. Jump. No, no, I fucked that up. I need to jump onto the right side of this moving platform. So what I'm trying to do right now... I want to grip on the left. It's going to go over there. You know what? Let me try it this way. That's not going to do it. I need to preserve it. Yeah, so check this out. I need to... And then... Oh! Fuck. Hmm. 
Oh, I think I know that. No, that's not gonna be the trick. I need to jump. Mm. Okay. Okay, I think I, I think I have an idea here. Oh shit! No, so I gotta jump quickly. Okay, okay, okay. I'm on to something here. That's it. <laughs> and you know something I've noticed, I remember when I was playing through Celeste before, is that there's oftentimes more than one way to solve the puzzle. It's, a, it's one of those things that's like, you know, if you do it right, then it's, if their method works, it's not a stupid method. Okay, this is another one where I have to not use the dash. Nope. Boom, baby. Yeah, am I actually gonna get all the strawberries? I don't know how many there are, but it feels like I'm kicking lots of ass right now. Let's see what's up here. Strawberries. Perhaps. Whoop! I don't know where we're going now. You see, and whenever you touch your feet flat on the ground, it resets your dash, so hopping on that little, uh, the little bouncy thing reset my dash. That was all I needed. Oh, shit. Nice. So, oh, found the edge of the mountain there. Oh, shit. Oh, it's because I thought that was a spike thing, even though I was just on it. <laughs> Anyway, so what are we thinking about this so far? Hold on, what was that up there? What's that? Wait, man up energy drink. Is that a, is there an upper area there or something? The upper room. Ah, whatever. Let's just go. Oh, that was dumb. Hmm. Hmm. Rest here. Whoops! <laughs> That's awkward. Okay, let's maybe not spike ourselves this time. Whoa. Ahoy, man, who knew YouTube was full of anti-Danton folks? You just never know. Oh, this is the area we were trying to get up to earlier. Okay, so we did end up there anyway. Ah, uh, these are collapsible. I can tell. Hmm. Ride it down. Nice. Real good. Oh yeah. And that's it. That's chapter one. Celeste Mountain. This memorial dedicated to those who perished on the climb. Slide it up. Ugh, I'm exhausted. Oh, that's right, and she's carrying her backpack. I always forget that because she drops it there, but yeah, she's carrying a rucksack or something this whole time. This might have been a mistake. Okay, end of chapter one. I'm going to say, what, 30 deaths? I died a lot trying to get that one strawberry. What is Celeste about? It's about climbing a mountain as we've seen and that's all we're gonna say for right now it's just it's, it's climb a mountain what's pac-man about <laughs> yeah all right four 15 16 out of 20 strawberries wow Ooh, 42 okay 42 uh calisthenics are owed to me then owed by me
Let's go with squats then. All right, let's clear some space and get to it. Huh, 42. And one, two, three, two. Oh, I'm doing a four count, so that's two. Uh, uh, okay, so 42, so I need to do 21 four count squats. Okay, so we'll go one. Here we go. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, eleven. One, two, three, twelve. One, two, three, thirteen. One, two, three, fourteen. One, two, three, fifteen. One, two, three, sixteen. One, two, three, seventeen. One, two. Three, eighteen, one, two, three, nineteen, one, two, three, twenty, one, two, three, twenty one. All right, twenty one squats, twenty one four count squats, which means forty two. Ah. Should I play Celeste on my own first, or watch you play it first? Well, uh, you know, we're gonna go through the story, and the story, if you're interested in the story, you should watch it, but it's definitely one of those games you can only really, really experience by playing. Having said that, um, if you're worried about spoilers, the first three chapters, there's no serious spoilers. Probably even the first four, really. Um, unless you're the kind of person who goes, Oh man, Link goes into the Deku tree in Ocarina? Dude, spoilers. It's like, what? That's the first temple of like the prologue section of the game. That's not spoilers. <laughs> but yeah, the first few chapters, you don't have to worry about anything too serious. All right, let's go to the old site. Wait a minute, no, actually, I want to test this. So can I go to the subsections? Okay, here's where the cassette is. So, I want to find the cassette. So this is something we're probably going to do sometimes, is kind of just go back and look for strawberries, or more specifically, go back and look for the cassettes. So, um, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to actually just look up a map. Celeste, cassette location chapter one because like I don't think this is cheating I haven't done this before but I don't think that it's cheating to look up where the cassette is because you still have to do the platforming when you get there okay uh okay excuse me Strawberry, strawberry. I'm looking for the fucking cassette. Okay, Chasm. Okay. All right, go to room with geared platform in the floor. Is it this? Use its upward momentum to fling you to the ground above. Head into the next room to find a geared platform in the wall. Don't use it yet to... I also like how they, they make the strawberries blue when you've already found them. That's really nice. Oh. Okay. Use it to fling you to the... No, okay. Dang it, because it's only showing me a map of, like I guess, where you find the hidden room. But not the rest. Alright, I guess it's this one. Yeah. Fling you to the ground above. Alright, hold on. Oh, wait. Whoops pressing the wrong thing. Alright, so use this momentum. Go to the next room. Okay. 
Ah, I see it. Do you see on the left that little glowing? Boom, there it is. You see, whoop, so like, I don't consider that cheating. Like, now I have to actually get there. Of course, it's the first level, so it's not hard. So. So the B-side has been unlocked. Great. And that's that. There you have it. Okay. So I think now I could uh, save and quit. I think I'll still have it unlocked. Okay, so, or, oh yeah, here we go, return to map. Returning to map will save your progress, but you gotta restart at the last checkpoint, that's fine. Okay, so I think we have the cassette now. So. I don't think we're going to complete the B-side right now, but let me just show it to you. Oh, yeah. So, so like this, they brought in guest artists, I think, to do the B-side music. Um, so, like, as you can see, I'm just showing this as an example. As you're going to see here, um, it's like, it's just, it's just harder puzzles. Oh, you see, like, I already fucked up by using the dash there. So, like, it's trying to show you not to depend on your dash, for example. Whoops. Uh, so like, and I've never done this before, but like, I can see I have to like jump, jump, jump until I get on the right side of that platform in the middle, the gray one, and then I gotta jump right and then use my dash to get up there into the corner. So like, I need to do this, this, oh, go drift that way up and around and then whoop, whoop. So as you can see, that was like a tiny, teeny bit harder. Um, but it wasn't like a huge deal. So, I, so uh, Aaron, like here, we'll do another one. So I, I gotta jump around here, jump around there, jump over here, up and around, up and around. So yeah, as you can see, it's like it's actually making me work for shit. Um, but yeah, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna do this right now. This is showing that the B sides are harder. Um. Okay, six, six push-ups. You see, those are purple, so I don't think they count to toward my overall, um, uh, you know, death count for when I finish the game, because there's going to be, like, a final count. Um, or it might be something separate. Uh, any, anyway. Um, let's go ahead and do Chapter 2. And then after we do Chapter 2, I think we'll just call it a day there. I wanted this to be a quick thing. Uh, and also, you know, sorry about the, what happened earlier with the stream. So, see, strawberries will impress your friends, but that's about it. Only collect them if you really want to. Yeah. Boy, quiet chat, dead chat, confirmed. Uh, but this is just going to introduce us to another important character, and it's also going to show us how... So, like, the gimmick in level one is the platforms, right? So the gimmick here are these black, you know, rectangles and stuff. And it's like, they don't do anything, but as we'll see, they do do something. So every, every, um... Every chapter has a different puzzle gimmick, basically. Alright. So, uh, let's go turn it on. Cause you turned me on. Angel, you are so gone. See it right there. Whoops! Yeah, I think this is the way to go. Cool. Is this the way, or I might be headed to a strawberry? Whoops. Oh, reset. There we go. Jump into it. Dash up. Da -da. Yep, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. All right, now we meet another character. Huh? Quay? Reflection, but that's not my color. Oh, oh God! So, um, that character that just came out of the wall, out of the reflection, so to speak, um, I'm gonna be referring to her as Paddeline, like Madeline, but with a P, um, because she came out of the, the mirror, so she looks like me, but she's purple, or maybe she's parallel, um, so, so that's why, uh, we're gonna call her Paddeline. I don't know, actually, what other kind of name, oh, see, look, hidden strawberry. 
So basically the way this, these, these blocks work, as you're gonna see, is uh, when you dash into them, you go straight through them. But here's the thing, you can't stop the momentum. So you could die. Uh, from them with if you know like if I was to for example if I was up here and I dash straight down I would go right into those blocks and die Actually, is this where I want to be? Ooh, what's down here? Oh the cassettes right here, huh? <laughs> Easy cassette <laughs> climbing simulator with LSD Gashida. Oh Shit wasn't able to time that just right so yeah, I think I think if I try to go through the thing while the uh, that wall is up, it'll actually kill me. Oh, whoop, that was dumb. Yeah. So you see, because I hit that in a diagonal way, um, it hurt me. Hurt me, hurt me. Whoop. All right, I need to be faster about that. Whoop. I, need, I probably also should face the screen directly so that kind of bullshit doesn't happen. I need to be ready with that. Okay, so it's like go across, drop, dash, diagonal immediately. Oh, there you go. You see? Okay, so that's what helped me get through the game before. Sometimes I start out loud saying the things I need to do, like I'm giving myself instructions even though I'm thinking I'm in the brain. It just kind of helps me sometimes. Hmm. Well, this one looks a little tricky. Huh. How am I supposed to do this one? Yeah, there's no way I can run across that way. Huh. How am I supposed to do this one? By the way, I also know that there's the Celeste 8-bit game, like the secret mini-game. That one's actually kind of long and does have a summit, so if we're going to play that, we'll do it after I've done the, the main game. You know what? I think I'm supposed to come in from the top left. You see how there's a drop-down over there? So, uh, I don't think we're supposed to do it this way. Oh, this is fun. So I have to, uh, yeah. So these ones, the way I think this works is you'll get the strawberry if you grab all the little yellow dots, but I need to not, uh, you can't touch the ground before you've, you've grabbed them all. So I need to do like this. Yeah, I think that's, it. so like if I did this, yeah, just see touching the ground, it immediately goes away. How Caesar? He's good. I think he. No, he's not napping here. He must be. He went to a different room. But he's been good. I've noticed that. I've noticed because I've been working so much that his sleeping patterns seem to have changed a little bit. So like he sleeps when. How would I say it? He 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 sleeps when I'm usually at work. <laughs> uh, so then when I get the day off and it's during those hours, he's kind of. Hold on a second. Fuck. So yeah, this is something fun you can do. You can just like repeatedly dash through the goop because when you come through the other side of it, you uh, you reset your dash. So you can just kind of do it forever. That's how you do it! Woohoo! And then without touching the ground, oh shit, I was gonna try to dash into it. So I, I won't even touch the ground to eat the strawberries, bitch. Hold on, oh, 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 I think that's where the drop down is too. Yep, yep, I was right. Yeah, so as you can see, a lot of these strawberries, it's not necessary. Some of them are platforming, but I think the reason why I never got too many of them before is just because I didn't, I wouldn't go looking for like those cracks in the wall for the puzzle stuff. Don't get me wrong, there's some there's some that are very difficult to platform. I remember uh, the first time I played this game, I came into a room with a strawberry in it, and I knew how to do it, and I back and I just I couldn't do the platforming correctly. Um, so what I ended up doing was um, 
I, uh, I, I, I was getting so frustrated because I couldn't get to the strawberry that I looked it up, and the method I was trying to use was correct, but you basically have to be frame perfect on the, um, on the, 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 the jumping. Uh, they're definitely, uh, and, uh, I couldn't do it, uh, so I wasn't able to get that strawberry. I don't remember what chapter it was on either, so I don't know if we'll be able to specifically go after it. Punched a little bit. There we go. Sit back, relax, conquer this game. Take it easy, man. Whoops. Oh, can I? I think I can grip the sides of these. Okay, good, good. Good to know. Check this out. So you see, you just do it that way. Uh huh. Yeah, because you can grip as you go through the other side as long as you hold down the shoulder button. It'll still let you, you know, grip. Well, you gotta also then push in the direction of, of, uh, of the, you know, the wall, but it'll let you grip that way. Oh! <laughs> Do it this way! Aha! You see, if I do that, I die. So you gotta zigzag it. Oh no! I didn't actually mean to do that. Hold on. Here we go! Boss battle! You're like, how's there a boss battle? There's no combat. Well, in these boss battles, you run. Conk conquering history games, darling. Slow down. Who said that? Oh, I'm simply a concerned observer. Are you me? I'm part of you. So that's another reason why I call her Paddlin, because you know, purple, parallel, part of you. I think it works. Why would part of me look so creepy? Mm this is just what I look like, okay? <laughs> it's just like, wow, fucking rude. <laughs> Deal with it! Sorry, I, I didn't mean... Forget about it. I, can, I can't tell you what a relief it is to finally get out of your head. But look, I'm worried about us. We need a hobby, but this... I... I know it sounds crazy, but I need to climb this mountain. You are many things, darling, but you are not a mountain climber. I really enjoy how much they're able to put into the body language of just the portraits. Or I guess like here you can kind of like if you look at the pixels, you can see she's pointing the finger and laughing at her. But but you know I, I think they do really good work just in these tiny little frames that they have. Who says I can't be? I know it's not your strong suit, but be reasonable for once. You have no idea what you're getting into. You can't handle this. This is That is exactly why I need to do this. Are you the weak part of me, or the lazy part? I'm the pragmatic part. You see? Purple. Parallel. Part of. Pragmatic. She's paddling. You know, is there a Celeste wiki? I should go on, I should make one and call her Paddlin. And I'm trying to be diplomatic here. Let's go home together. See, like this, and she leans on it, like it's a little window and her hair comes out, it's great. All right. So here, now she starts to chase me and she will kill me if she touches me. So here's all you gotta know about her. She is definitely faster than you if you just try to walk it. Um, also, I used to think that she just tracks you, like she's got like some AI smarts to go after you, but what she'll actually do, and I didn't know about that, I didn't realize this until the second time I was playing the game, is that she actually will follow the path that you take exactly, 
So you can actually trick her into, like, passing under you and stuff. So you can see right here, uh, do that. Oh god, how do I get to that? How do I get there? I do not understand! Oh, oh fuck. Alright, that ain't gonna work. You know what, this is not the time to be getting those strawberries. Oh fuck me. Uh, fuck. Fuck! She's gonna get me, yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta throw yourself on the spikes. Yeah, so this this is a boss battle in a game without combat. You, you run. Do this just right. Drop down before she gets there. <laughs> You're never gonna catch me. You wasted your time. Go do something else. Oh gosh, she's about to play. Wait, wait, uh, uh, drop this down. No, oh, you see, so she because the mul the multipliers they create lag, so to speak. So it does get harder to dodge her bullshit. All right, that doesn't work for some reason. Ooh. Drop, drop it down, hit the floor, get low. Whoop, whoop. Oh, there was a strawberry in there. Yeah, no, no time during this chase scene. So you see, she's gonna go in there and then Oh, fuck! Whoop, you know, can I like do the zigzag move here? Hold on. Pro gamer moment! No, no, that's not gonna work. Hold on, I'm trying to I'm trying to do a serious pro gamer move here. I, I think if I zigzag top left to bottom right and then you know and then then drop again, I could uh, get up into that area in the center. I don't know what it is, but I'm damn curious. Whoa. Oh fuck! If this if this starts taking too many tries, we're gonna move on. I need to, okay, I need to, after I go down, okay, dash down, wait a second, okay, dash down, wait a second, oh, fuck, I need to then go straight up, dash down, wait a second, straight up. Nice! Oh, shit! Oh, they can't reach here because I'm better than them. <laughs> so good. That was a highlight moment. da 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 Whoop. Oh shit. Okay, this part gets a little tricky. Oh, what? I never knew that was there! Huh? What? It's like a shortcut? Okay. Interesting. There was no strawberry there. Kind of feel like there should have been. Oh, fuck. Is it? Oh, let's try to get that other strawberry too. That was that was so wild. <laughs> I'm just I'm just I'm off my groove now because because of this thing. Oh shit! Whoop! Fuck me! You know, actually, I think I need to. Can I drop? from the other direction to get that thing? Or is that gonna... No, it blocks it. Fuckers. Got it. Whoop! Come on, go under. Wait for them all to pass. <laughs> you never, like I said, you're never gonna catch me! Oh, shoot. Mm, okay, that was weird that that room was empty. There was probably definitely something hidden in there. <laughs> You'll never find me. Yeah, that's right. You better run. 
There definitely is some more of this level out here that I'm just not able to find, it seems. But that, that little shortcut was interesting. That was a little shortcut there, and it didn't even have a... It, like, there wasn't even a strawberry there. Very strange. Okay, I think it's pretty easy now until the end of the level. Can I come up here? Yeah, but there's nothing. Okay. It's up here, then. Aha! Oh, shit! Okay, so I need to go up and then drift. Drift to the left. Oh, shit. Easy peasy. Okay. Oh, hey there, Christopher John Ramos. What is this game? Uh, this game is called Celeste. It's a 2D platforming game where... Uh, you are climbing a mountain called Celeste. Uh, the main character's name is Madeline. That's who we are. Uh, and we're just about to finish chapter two of seven. I think that's it. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for today. Just wanted to do a quick little stream. Um, and I want to go to bed early night so we can catch the opening ceremonies tomorrow. Hello? CHG? Are you calling from a payphone? Yeah. No, wait. You called me. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. I'm in trouble. I'm being chased by someone. I don't really understand what's going on, but I know I'm in danger. I can feel it. Psst, EHG, you only call me when you're panicking in the middle of the night. You don't have to make up some ridiculous story just to get my attention. I'm not making it up. You always do this. Shh. It's all right. Calm down. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Talk to me. I'm climbing Celeste Mountain. I found this old mirror and it shattered, but part of me escaped and... I'm dreaming, aren't I? CHG, of course you're dreaming. I haven't spoken to you in months. Why would I start now? Ugh, why am I even climbing this stupid mountain? Oh, it's paddling! I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> it's time to give up and go home. Oh, shit. Ah, Cthulhu! Oh, well, game over. Uh, you know, it was good. It was a fun game. Good game. Oh, nope. We're done. Oh, is that not the end of chapter two? I thought that was the end of chapter two. Okay, I guess we'll do a little more then. That's fine. Oh, right. Do we have to go talk to Theo first? Here he is again. Hey, Theo. Sorry about earlier. I'm CHG. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, this is a good place for it. Something about these ruins feels so introspective. It's really making me take a look in the mirror, so to speak. Dun, dun, dun! Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I get that. <laughs> so, what far off land do you hail from? Well, my inquisitive compatriot, I doth hail from the mystical, enigmatic kingdom of... Seattle. Yeah, because I think this is, uh, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think the game developers are Canadian. That's why at the beginning when it said you wanted it in English and it had the Canadian flag instead of the U Union Jack or the uh, Stars and Stripes. Uh, so, like, this guy's like, I'm from over the border in Seattle, because this mountain's, I guess, theory in the, like, the Pacific Northwest. Sounds like a special place. <laughs> I've never been to Seattle. I can neither confirm nor deny. How special of a place it is. We got anything interesting out here? Oi, what was that? Was that a bird? No. Oh. What 
do we have here? Hmm. I have no idea where I'm going. But, you know, when you're climbing a mountain, up is usually the right direction. Oh! Yeah, I don't know what these crystal things are supposed to be. I don't know if you can ever, like, pick them up or anything. There's a dusty old book open on the table. A poem is written on the faded page. An apparition, not of this world, but because of it, lurking out of frame. Awake, my heart is a fortress. In dreams, I am vulnerable. Oh, so this must be about, uh, Adeline. Did I write it, or is it somebody else who had similar experiences here? You know, I'm just gonna look up what this thing does. I, okay, okay. Celeste, can you get crystal hearts? Like what? What do they do? Or, I don't know. Blue hearts, crystal hearts. Um. Yeah, I don't. It's 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 a thumping, isn't it? Huh. Let's see. The crystal heart is is in theory easy to locate, but it's difficult to locate object. You can explain mechanism. Huh. So, hold on. Okay, so apparently to do this, 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 there, there's a way to get this heart, but it's here. It is here. Um, but, you know, when you look at it once you're awake, you can't actually grab it. And the poem is supposed to be a hint because it says, in dreams I awake, my heart is a fortress, in dreams I am vulnerable. So because we're in the awake portion of the game, there's no way to get to this. But if I came up here when I was uh, asleep, apparently it'll be here. That's, that's just what I saw online. Um, interesting. So you know what? Maybe when we're done with this chapter, we'll go back and try to grab that because I've, I've never grabbed a crystal heart. I don't know what it's going to do. Oh my, it's a big drop. Oh shit! Sorry about that. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, there's something up there. Was that? Was this? He could obviously were in a calm portion, even though I just died. Ah, hey, hey, that's when I gotta. I can't. I can't use dashes for it. Huh! There we go. Yeah. So you're allowed to dash if you are grabbing it when you dash, because you see the dash triggers it running away. Nice. Hello there, purple phoenix. And uh, we're back again. Yeah, so just a little thing. <sighs> ringing, ringing, ringing. Hello. Hi, Mom. CHG, what a nice surprise. How's your trip? It's okay. I'm just kind of overwhelmed. Oh no, are you having another panic attack? Focus on your breathing, honey, I'm here. What's going on? Hmm. Chapter complete. Okay, so let's go back and do that again, though. Uh, at least you're trying to figure out the heart section. Hey, got 12 of the 18. Got 44 deaths. And we got the B-side. Okay, but let's, uh... Okay, so awake, intervention, and start. So I guess when you're wandering around, when you do the boss fight, and then the little after portion. Oh, there was only one strawberry, and I got it. Nice. Uh, okay. So, 
Anyway, we're going to go back to the start, I guess, so we can try to get that crystal heart thing. Uh, but I think I owe 44 calisthenics, so here we go. And Okay, I did my legs, now let's do some push-ups. All right. Okay, just making some room here. All right. And so that's 22 four count push-ups just because like that's, that's something like it's one of those habits you know you do it for so many years that you can't stop doing it uh, as I do I usually do everything's in a four count so it's like one goes down you don't know, count one you do one two three one so you've gone you know on the odd numbers you're going down so it's one and then two you go back up so you've technically already done one push-up then you go down again and then you come back up again on the four and the four is actually the number it's also good for music, you know, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four, one, or no, excuse me, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, anyway, let's get to it. All right, 22 four count push ups. Here we go. One, two, three, one, one. Two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, up my spine and my, yeah that was hunching we're doing this oh all right so let's uh let's figure out this um excuse me let's figure out this um crystal heart thing I'll tell you what though, what I've kind of done to try to maintain a little bit of health in my life is uh, I've been usually, oh, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Okay, did you guys see how it was backwards there? Whoa, I've never seen this. But you know, work, work, you know, keeps me active and I sure use my muscles enough, but my cardio has been slipping. Okay. Uh, let me. Ooh, there we go. Did you guys see that shit? <laughs> oh, dirty birdie. That's what I see. See the the. It recharges when you go from screen to screen. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Jump, jump, fucking jump, fuck me. Ugh. Come on, come on. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Fucking get there. Ugh. Fuck, how am I supposed to get there? Oh, okay, I get it. Yes! Oh God! What, what, 
am I supposed to do there? Fuck. All right. I need. I need to think here. Hmm. Hmm. I know. I know what I have to do. I have to dash again when I'm up there. Fuck yes. Check this out. Okay. This is gonna get you guys dizzy, but it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Fuck me. Ugh. Oh god, Celeste is escaping the donation cut. Oh, does it look like she's climbing out of the cognac glass? Okay. I was hitting the thing! Fuck you! I was- okay, so like, cause I, I need to fucking dash like this. Oh, hell yeah. Move over, Muhammad Ali, because I am the greatest! Wait, it didn't do anything. Oi! Huh. Give me, you little bitch. Come here. <laughs> Boy. Maybe I gotta hit it from the other side? Ooh. Can I, like, climb under it? Do I gotta be right under it? Oh! Maybe I dash into it? Oh! I am the greatest! <laughs> Resurrections. Is he just gonna do this forever? Okay, I guess it's doing this forever. Nice! I don't know what that means. Uh, can I go higher? Yeah, and hi no, no, that's the edge, but yeah, out of frame. That's why the poems call that an apparition, not of this world, but because of it, lurking out of frame. Awake, my heart is a fortress. In dreams, I am vulnerable. Woo! Break my ankles, bam! <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, look, the tombstone, the letters are moving on it, too. I think that's supposed to, because I think I've heard about that, that, like, in dreams, it's impossible to read. Um, because that's, like, I think that was something I once read, like, how to tell if you're in a dream. One of the things you should do is try to find a clock, like a digital clock, because then the, the letters will look scrambled because they're not real. Or it's like, I don't know, your brain can't process it or whatever. Um, anyway... Uh, so I guess let's return to the map. So, nice! A big blue heart, and blue's my favorite color. Okay, cool, so we learned something today. Well, now I gotta go back to the to the first place and find where that crystal heart is, you know. I'll give you my big blue heart. Yeah, my big blue heart. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for joining me, though. I'm Conquering History Games. So, uh... Next episode, we're gonna go into the hotel, and then this is where, okay, now we've kind of met the characters, we're gonna, things are gonna, well, actually, I would say, episode three is very interesting. Um, honestly, though, if you're concerned about spoilers for the game, if you want to play this yourself, you're not getting into ser actual spoilers that freaking matter until you're hitting chapter five, at least. Um, and uh, 3 has a very interesting gimmick. Uh, I especially like what they did with the score of it and such. Uh, but anyway, you all have yourselves a pleasant evening. Sorry about what happened with the stream earlier today. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to do a couple of streams as well. Um, uh, anyway, you have yourselves a pleasant evening. I'm going to probably be going to bed pretty early because I want to catch the uh, opening ceremonies tomorrow. Uh, which I think I'll be able to catch on my antenna. And I'll see you around.